What's going on, everybody? My name is Blade. Welcome back to more Dying Light the following. Last video was crazy. I got uh, into some trance in this cult, and it was, uh, it was crazy. But I'm back here in my own little town uh, where I'm still trying to gain their trust here. So I have to go to Jazir. But I do want to go to the store and see if I can buy some stuff because I do got some money some stuff to trade so um let's see there's some things like this uh, i don't even need 20 flares i need maybe uh maybe just 10 of them Um, let's see. Oh, I don't need this. You can sell that. I don't need that. I don't need that. I don't think I need any of that. You can have the cigarettes. I should up start upgrading my weapons, too. Um... Improves handling, okay. Screws, okay. So I think that's pretty much everything I have on me to sell, which I just got another like $1,500. So let's see. I know I have some shotgun ammo. I don't know if he has any shotguns. He does not. He doesn't have any guns at all. Maybe that guy on the bridge has guns. He just has handheld weapons. All right. I think that's it. I just sold him some stuff. You can see I have almost $9,000 there. So, All right, that's good. Yes, sir. Now let's go to Jazir and see what's up. Jazir, there was one cryptic message. I didn't want to get into details over the radio. One of the men from town just died from the water poisoning. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Yes, we all were. He was military. And he asked us to give away all of his possessions. The last thing we have left is this card. I don't know what its purpose is. That's a military key card. I mean, if it's properly authorized, it could open any military electronic lock. Well then, here. You take it. Maybe it'll help you. Besides, we wouldn't even know what to look for. Yeah, thanks, Jazir. Ooh. That's her key card. What that means. The card allows you to open special military supplies. They're scattered around the countryside, contain blueprints, which can be crucial to survival. Okay, that's good to know. Continue aiding children of the sun. Is there another... There you go, look at all these, see? These are all little missions I can do to start gaining their trust. Um... Ooh. Let's build... Skill point, where is it under? under driver. I think I got that last uh, last time I played. Okay, here we go. Uh, nitro. Again, not a big Nitro guy yet. Car alarm. Mind dispenser. Allows you to install the mind dispenser upgrade. You're able to drop mines behind your vehicle. Whoa. How about this one? Allows you to install reinforcement cage. There you go. That's what I need. I definitely, I, even though this would be really cool, I actually might kill myself using that. This is good enough right here. So, take that. Enforcement shield is good. All right, and then let's choose one of these missions here. Down the rabbit hole. Missing person. Try to find one of these missing people. There was something useful at Oasis. 
was bigger than them, but foolish, and we can not be foolish here. We can't afford it, however. Disgraces. Well, sure. I guess. Oh, maybe it's just. It's not necessarily a mission, it just shows me who's missing. Right, well, let's start with this. People who just got wind of the new Violet Hive and the Fairland. If you want to stay alive, don't go anywhere near Old Gloomy Ridge. Just avoid it and find alternate paths to the altars. When I ever say anywhere near, I mean it. Oh god. Oh no, at the destroy hive, this is gonna be crazy. I wonder how hard this quest is. Very hard? Okay, okay. You know what? Um. Maybe not that one yet. <laughs> maybe not that one. Which it tells me how hard it is before I pick it. We'll start saving the Yelk of the Sabbath. Anyone hears about him or sees anything, give me a sign as soon as possible. I'm just gonna grab all these. Who's this Sabbat? He was supposed to get you guys some medicine? Yes, yes he was. He was bringing us fresh herbs every single week. But we haven't heard from him for too long now. I know, he's probably dead, but we can't be sure. You don't know the man. He wanted to become one of the Faceless. He wouldn't let himself get killed easily. Well, any idea where I should look for him then? And what about those fevers? You still need some herbs, right? He lived in a hut out on that rocky island. And yes, he always kept medicine there. Just be careful. If something's got to sap it, it's no laughing matter. All right. Um, okay. That must sounds a little easier. There you go, it's a medium. There we go. Sorry I'm a little bitch about these very hard ones yet because, I mean, come on. <laughs> They're very hard. I just want to get most of these out of the way for you guys. Look for Sabbat. Okay, well. Shit. Is there an exclamation here? Let's look for him. What the hell? Tell me about this Sabbat guy. Before the outbreak, what was his job? He was a forest ranger. A proud and brave man. Always said he felt better in the company of animals and people. Yeah, I think I know the type. So he was a natural fit for the faceless? No. That idea came later. He wasn't a believer at first. It was only when he received the mother's blessing that he decided to help her achieve her goals however he could. And that's when he started bringing you medicine? Taking care of some of the needs of our community, yes. And he still lived in the hut? That's... It's quite a commute, especially on foot. And that's what was special about Sabbat. He just wasn't afraid. Not of monsters. Not of the dark, even. He wandered around in the night as if it were nothing special. Thin line between bravery and madness, huh? Okay. Looks like I needed to talk to him again. Now will you show me where it is? Oh my goodness. It's way over there. Alright. It's going to be a long trip. And there's a safe zone right here. My car. Okay. And guys, uh, just like last video, I might cut around it if it takes too long for me to get there, but we'll see. We believe a plane may have crash landed somewhere near here. Yeah, I watched it go down. It's worth checking for survivors. It could be someone from outside the quarantine. Oh. 
Maybe I'll check out the, the crash site here. Is that closer? It's a tiny bit closer. <laughs> Maybe. Alright, that's cool. I'll do that. Alright, so did I have my... I think I put my armor on. Let me see. Is there armor I can... Zero percent. I'll add this one then. Here we go. <laughs> A Jazir bobblehead. Done. What the hell does he have his own bobblehead? There he is. <laughs> okay. All right. Long trip. Whoa. All right, guys. So I was just driving around. I went up here and bought um, some stuff from this guy. He didn't really have much, but he did have arrows. Now, how do I change? How do I change my arrows? Oh, you see the drop? Hold on, I'm gonna go to that drop. Out of the way, boys! Eee! that far from what I can see I'm the only one here. Sometimes there's uh, bad guys here and you have to kill them all. Oh, yeah. This is a lot of money when you sell it. Layers. Sell those again. Flares. A disaster relief package. All right, that's good. Happy with that. So I got a bunch of arrows here. I want to test these out. Let's see what this does. What the hell? Whoa. A quick little explosion. All right, and this is just a normal arrow. This one, let's see what this does. Woohoo! Holy shit. All right. I want to start using a lot more arrows. Car crashed here. Um, my car is okay for now. Set position. How far is this thing? Okay, pretty close here. Look out! I'm 
Look at me. Oh shit. Woohoo! Oh, this is amazing. Uh, did you get out? I think you did. Do that. What's in here? Guy in there? Not even sure. Oh well, well I helped somebody. Oh, hold on. Easy. Let's see what's in here. It was easy. Nice. Nice. Alright. So this is where I'm at. I'm just checking out the plane site here. Seeing if anyone needs help, I guess. Look out. the twins oh my god the hell man jeez Checking every car now because it helps you see with your own car. I see fuel. Put it on now. Okay, so. Reach the twins. That's great. Um, go through hell to reach you guys. Everyone here is calmed down. Nope. They're still pissed. No! Not me! Whoa! Whoa! No, no, no. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm screwed. I'm screwed. Hey! <laughs> Mm. Right to the face. Okay, so my car's stuck, which is great because you can do this. And you can't go reverse when this wheels turn. That's weird. Okay. Let's get to these guys. I was getting dark too. Shit. Oh, they're in here. Oh. Oh God. Turn to the wrong spot. Hey. See, Tolga told you it was Crane. Are you sure? He looks weird. He always looks weird. Crane. We did it! We flew! But not with the jetpack. But we found a plane instead. Almost in good condition. Had to make a few adjustments to it. 
and the gasket broke. All the oil leaked out, the engine seized up. We had to jump out, but Mr. Dahl, our boss... Whoosh! He flew all the way to the west. You have to find him, Crane. Well, you two actually care about someone else. Oh, you wound us, Mr. Crane. Also, Mr. Dahl is a billionaire. He'll make us rich. All right. How am I supposed to find him? Simple. Mr. Dahl has a transmitter in his backpack. That's our... Uh, insurance. You know, in case he tried to screw us over. Can't trust anyone, you know. Take that tracking device. The beeping will be faster the closer you are to the transmitter. And when you get back, we'll tune this tracking device so that you'll be able to find other things. Tolga, tell him. Everything that's chipped, Crane. And these days, a lot of things are chipped, aren't they? Military equipment, for example? But first, Mr. Dahl. Go for it, Crane. You can do it. We believe in you. You have to say things like that to people like him, you know. I don't really remember these guys from the story. Maybe I do. Um, all right, well, thanks. I'll uh, take the tracking device. Look at all this stuff here. Can I steal? Pick a bounty? Wow, there's so much stuff you can do. I don't need a player stash. I could sleep, can I? No. I don't want to go out during the night. Oh, here we go. Yeah! Okay, so I'm going to wait a few hours. And go out at night here. Cool little spot. I don't know what this thing is we call vehicle. I'm not sure. I don't want to touch it. Maybe it brings the vehicle to you. I don't want to touch it. Alright, what time is it? It's 7.30. So, I'm going to wait a few more hours and then go out at night and uh, take it from there, guys. All right, guys. Just wait till night. Uh, actually, took a quick nap, then went to sleep again for ten hours, and here we go. It's, it's daytime. It's seven a.m. So let's uh, go do this mission for them here. So creepy out here. Okay. I love these arrows. Where is this guy? Uh, go, go, go. Mr. Vulcan. Plane. Crane, did you find the aircraft? Did it really crash? Yes, and yes, but the crew were no outsiders, just a few unlucky people trying to get out of Haran. Did anyone survive? Are they dangerous? Yeah, two survivors, but no, they're just a pair of suicidal mad scientists. More dangerous to themselves than anyone else. Scientists, you say? The mother would like you to keep an eye on them, just in case. Let me go! 
Oh, you son of a... This. Oh, shit. Huh? Ah, you want more of this? Okay, I'm in a fight now. Mm. Oh, I kicked him. I just kicked him in the gut and he died. <laughs> He's a shin. Uh, that was a little violent. Uh, uh, my tracker is working. What's that? Call chemicals? My tracker is definitely working. <laughs> Goes away when I come over here. Do that. There's the signal must be getting close. All right, warm. Oh, it's his backpack. Guys, I found Dahl's transmitter. See, Tolga? Told you he was going to find him. Pay up. Wait, Crane, is Mr. Dahl all right? It's hard to say. <laughs> he's dead. You lose, Fatim. I don't know if he's dead, guys. I just found his backpack. No sign of the man himself. Any ideas? We're geniuses. Of course we have ideas. We're prepared. Not that we didn't trust the man, but he has another transmitter in one of his shoes. Set the tracking device to your second channel and move on with your investigation. Ow. Okay, so another tracking device. Not this way. here and I'm gonna get out <laughs> this thing is amazing Like a shockwave kind of thing. They're just normal arrows. Uh oh. It's not helping at all. Oh! 
no. Big man right here. Rock kick. Not a good idea. Oh shit. Get up. Oh god. <laughs> ah. Hey, let's go point. Boom. First of all, heal myself. Sorry guys, I just wanted to fight some zombies here. Get some action in. Alcohol. Uh, I do have a skill point, so let me... Oh, power. Ooh, look at this. Look at all the stuff I've unlocked before this expansion. See, look, I gotta start using this. Actually, no, I, I do use that. There's one that I haven't used. It's a ground and pound, here you go. Strike the ground with a powerful blow that topples enemies. Hold B while in midair to... See, I gotta start doing that. And then drop attack. Finish enemies with aerial jumping attack. Hold RT while in midair. Okay. Right, what's this? So a slam. Increase the range and force of the ground pound attack. Kill frenzy. Gain power points faster for 10 seconds after killing an enemy. Okay, that's kind of cool. Instantly stun enemies. Press X while standing in front of them. Stunned execute. Okay. Multi throw. Um, melee throw. Throw any melee weapon at enemies. Dealing massive damage. I don't want to throw my shit. Use a powerful blow that deals massive damage but uses more stamina. Hold, R Hold and release RT to execute. It requires one handed weapons. You know what? I will. Sneak behind your enemies and take them down. I see I don't do that much. As your body gets more athletic, you're able to absorb more damage. That's pretty cool, but... I think this is good here. This might be cool. Hold RT. So I have a power attack. Let's see how that works. Okay. Let's find this guy. Stop lollygagging around after I do this. Here, in here. Before I forgot, I do have another skill point. There we go. Agility. Nice. Slide. Slide while running. This allows you to maneuver through holes and walls. Okay, I know that one. Forward roll. Increases your... Increases the height from which you can fall and survive. That's kind of cool. Or you hit the ground, you tuck and roll. That's kind of cool. Backlash. Use throwing weapons. Or you'll be like... While looking behind in sprint. Oh, that's kind of cool. When you're running, you can turn around and throw something. Uh, tackle. Uh, elbow strike enemies while free running. Hold LB. Instant escape. Allows you to instantly break free from a biter's grab. That's kind of cool. Dropkick bomb. Dropkick does more damage. That's kind of cool, too. Brutal grapple. Uh, enemies thrown with the grapple. No. Wow, it's either between this, the drop kick that's more powerful, or instant escape when I get bit. Um, yeah, I'll do that. I don't want to get bit anymore. Okay. Let's find this guy. Hell, man.
not in here? You're not Vulcan doll. Was I supposed to be? Where did you get those boots? Hey, he didn't need them anymore. Ah, oh, he's dead. Did you kill him? Where is he? Hey, he turned. I killed a monster, not a human. Shit, where? Shot him straight through the head. No, you idiot. Where is his <laughs> body? Oh, not far from here. Listen, I can pay you for these boots if they're so important to you. No problem. Just forget it. All right, so I finally found him, and he's dead. Guys, I found Dahl. Patine, Tolga, you there? Where'd you go? God damn it. Help! We're surrounded! Oh, scream louder, Patine. Maybe they'll figure out where. The train on the bridge! Shit. These guys are funny. Alright. Well, that was a whole lot of driving around to find a dead guy. Uh, let's see. Um. What the heck is that? Let's get a strange phenomenon. Alright, that's really far away. But that's it, guys. That's gonna be uh, for this video. Um. I'm not sure how many more I will upload because I can upload this for months, doing all these side missions, doing this and that. Um, I believe this is my sixth video, uh, so I showed you a good amount of this game. Um, I definitely will upload more, but not sure if it's going to be like back to back of what I'm going to do next. I'll probably just upload some cool missions and things like that. Uh, it's just such a big open world game that it's going to take a while, and uh, I'm playing a lot of other games too, so it's really hard to keep up making these videos and and they're just such an open world that it takes forever sometimes um traveling and you know making a two hour video down to like one hour or 45 minutes so i'll see how long i go with it um i'll do some side missions and if they're cool enough to upload i will but i definitely want to show you like the end if there's an end to this uh dlc or anything like that so thank you guys again so much for watching it's an awesome game a lot to do and I'll talk to you guys later.